Hi, welcome to the show. I'm Gabe, and I'll tell you about prom ticket sales, deck of pathway completers, and more in just a minute. Hey, I'm Natalie, and later I'll get you information on the schedule for the baseball team this week. Hey, I'm Blake, and I'll be back with the weather forecast for today and some important news for Wednesday. The soccer team has a full schedule this week. I'm Macy, and stay tuned for sports, and I'll get you up to date on everything MCHS soccer for this week. It's March 29th, and the news starts now. Congrats to the following seniors for receiving their deck of stoles. Audrey Balicki, Audrey Wagner, Brooke Butler, Claire Nunn, Elizabeth Adkins, Jane Schlebach, Kaylin Kefaber, Kelly Zamundo, Natalia Oriano, and Simon LeClaire. Congrats to you guys. Ticket sales for prom have now started. Single tickets are $40 and couple tickets are $75. If you are a junior or senior and would like to purchase your tickets, you can go in the front office. We'll be right back with sports from Ava after this message from the doghouse. Welcome to the doghouse. The doghouse is the school store here at MCHS located right by the cafeteria on Main Street. Open during lunch, the doghouse has a wide variety of snacks, drinks, and school supplies. Well, let's say you don't want any of those things. Well, that's fine too. They also have a lot of cool custom and spirit wear that you can't purchase anywhere else like what I'm holding right now. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to the doghouse or visit their website at mchsdoghouse.com and get what you need. Welcome back. Let's get to Macy with soccer news. For soccer games this week, tonight versus Academy of Richmond County, tomorrow versus Hepsiba, as well as Jacob Martin night, all students will be allowed in free. And Thursday is senior night versus Putnam County. If you can't make it, all games will be available on mchslive.com. Thanks, Macy. The tennis team has a region match tomorrow at Burke County. They're looking to stay undefeated in region play. The bass fishing team was on Oconee this past weekend for the Georgia Bass Nation regular season tournament. There are 114 high school boats. Here are the results. Landon Huff and Will Thomas got 7th place with 5 fish altogether weighing 13 pounds, 13 ounces. They moved up to 4th place in Angler of the Year. Jordan and Braden Rhodes got 28th place with 3 fish weighing 7 and 3 quarters pounds. They qualified for state. Barrett Adams and Colby Brown got 36th place with 4 fish weighing just under 7 pounds. They also qualified for state. Caden Nation and Walker Stevens got 54th place with two fish weighing four and almost three quarter pounds. Nice job to our fishing team. The track team competed at Eagles Landing on Friday night. The boys finished in fourth and the girls in ninth. Damian Walker won the boys triple jump. Jasir Cooper got third in discus and second in shot put. Chance Reed finished in fourth in discus. Omar Noriega won third and Jack Greenfield in fifth in 100 meter hurdles. Joshua Jones won 4th place in 300 meter hurdles. Jemiah Cox won 5th in shot put. Tiana Wade won 4th place in triple jump. Javier Le Guin won 5th place in long jump. The golf team has a match tomorrow versus Loganville and Jackson County at Morgan at Monroe Golf and Country Club, so come support our team. Saturday, the baseball team traveled to Augusta to take on the Academy of Richmond County Musketeers in the doubleheader that was scheduled for Friday night but postponed due to rain. In Game 1, the Dogs dominated, winning 16-0, with Ben Cootie getting the win on the mound. Brendan Conway got the job done at the plate, hitting a three-run homer. Game 2 was more of a struggle for the Dogs after giving up 10 runs in the second inning. Maddox Smith came to the mound in relief and threw five innings to get the win. Now let's check with Natalie for details about the rest of the week for the Dogs. Thanks, Ava. The baseball team continues region play this week as they take on Cross Creek tomorrow, and then they'll be back home on Friday to do a doubleheader against the Razorbacks. We will have both of those games live on Friday, live on mchslive.com. Now back to Ava in the studio. Thanks, Natalie. That's all for sports. Now let's get to Blake for today's weather forecast.
Thanks, Ava. Today, the high will be 68 with a low of 45. There is a zero chance of rain on this sunny Monday, but don't get used to it. On Wednesday, there is a 60% 60 60 chance of scattered thunderstorms, so watch out. Also, later on in the week, the temperatures will drop with the coldest day being Thursday. That's all for weather news. Now let's get back with Gabe for music and more. Thanks, Blake. With music news today, the Billboard Top 100 chart has recently been updated. In first, we have Up by Cardi B. Her song has been at number one for about a week now and has already received an award for biggest sales gain as well as an award for performance gain. In second, we have Leave the Door Open by Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. This song has been on the charts for almost two weeks. and has received an award for biggest airplay gain. In third, we have Olivia Rodrigo with driver's license. Hey, have you heard of the 2018 movie Venom? Well, there's a sequel coming called Venom, Let There Be Carnage. It features the return of Eddie Brock and Venom to face another villainous symbiote known as Carnage. There have been a lot of delays, but they now possibly have a release date in select theaters in the U.S. for September 27th, 2021. 17th, sorry, September 20, September 17th, 2021. Fans have been awaiting this sequel since it's teased in the end of the original movie, so when it comes out, you should definitely go see it. A new documentary is coming to Netflix tomorrow. The documentary is called Seven Yards, The Chris Norton Story. The documentary is about Chris Norton, who was paralyzed after a life-changing tackle. It took him seven years to walk his wife down a seven-yard aisle at their wedding. This documentary is very inspiring and can help you overcome things that you may struggle with in your own life. The game Terminator Resistance Enhanced came to PS5 last Friday. This is the first person shooter game that was developed by Taian. It's based on the Terminator movie franchise from the films Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The campaign is 10 hours long, so if you have a lot of free time then you may want to purchase this game. Today's joke of the day goes out to the golf team. Why? Because we haven't sent one their way in a while. Why do golfers always keep an extra pair of pants with them? In case they get a hole in one. Here's another, because we knew that one wasn't going to be great. What's the difference between a golfer and a fisherman? When a golfer lies, he doesn't have to bring anything home to prove it. Thank you for watching today's show. Join us tomorrow for the results from tonight's soccer game and more. Have a great day, and as always, go dogs.